There's a point that I want to touch on here first, and it's this idea of credit quality. Because even though you've seen a little bit of a deterioration quarter over quarter, it improved quite meaningfully from a year ago. Is that sustainable? Uh, I will point out that uh, even the deterioration, as you put it, was something that we had predicted and deliberately communicated to the market a quarter ago, where we said, look, we expect a slight increase through the summer, entirely seasonality related, and it will normalize right after, and that's exactly what we saw. So what all of this means is we are in control of the current outcomes of the loans we make. And it is in contrast to the rest of the industry. You know, if anywhere you look, you see delinquencies creeping up and folks struggling to uh, maintain any sort of a quality credit performance. While well, we have been able to distinguish ourselves, it's not an accident and it's not a secret of any kind. It's the structural advantage that we have. We write very short term transactions, four and a half months is the weighted average life alone. And every transaction is individually underwritten which means that we have an incredible degree of control over what we actually put into our book. Max, the other thing that you've been talking about more at Affirm, you're a traditional buy now, pay later pioneer, but you now have the Affirm card. How much does that compete with the buy now, pay later model? Uh, it's actually perfectly complementary to it. It's, you know, to me, I mean, I'm, I'm heavily biased, it's sort of my baby, but uh, it is the, uh, for the moment, at least, the peak of achievement of buy now, pay later, it's buy now, pay later on your debit card that works both online and offline entirely puts control into your hands. You decide if it's going to be a transaction that just settles against your cash balance or becomes a buy now, pay later loan, as always with a firm, entirely transparent, no late fees, no compounding interest, no gimmicky, sloppy schemes to, to contend with. So it's the perfect embodiment of what we've been working on for a decade and more. So it's, it's, a, it's just a compliment to everything we've done. And we have incredible roadmap of plans for the part. We'll talk a lot about it next week at our investor forum event, but we have years and years to build into this thing. Max, we, uh, it's Ed here. Hi. We got Adobe Analytics data this morning that showed October was a record in the US for online spending and BMPL was a big sort of contributing factor to that. I know you've talked about the Amazon relationship and, and you, you just mentioned next week, but what other modalities do you see buy now, pay later kind of growing into going forward? I, I think there's, there's quite a lot more growth to cover. I think the secular shift, especially among the young consumers, we're about two thirds millennial and Gen Z on, on our consumer base, they ask for more transparency. They want easier way to understand what it is they're going to own when they're going to be out of debt. And so just that pull alone creates ample opportunity for a company like ours to grow. We think there'll be incredible growth in offline. We buy with buy now later and brick and mortar on our card, but also from our app directly. We think there are opportunities in small business lending. You've heard our announcement last week. We're going into sole props and we think there are many, many small businesses would get help there. And so there's just lots of places where this idea of honest financial products makes a lot of sense. And the consumer, the end consumer of this product is just hungry for it. Morgan Stanley actually calling out how you're really communicating more clearly about the customer journey, how you can think about purchase capacity. Communicate with us about your investment capacity right now. How much do you want to be investing in the business when we do have perhaps calls that an economy is going to turn, when we are thinking about how much you need to outperform in terms of the world of AI? Where do you lean in on? You know, we're fundamentally a software development company. You know, everything we do, we do in house and write a lot of code. The results of this quarter speak for themselves, but they're fundamentally just a sign of how well we've been executing primarily in building great software and delivering to our partners. That is our area of investment. We're not a marketing driven company where we don't spend really barely any money to speak of the details of marketing. We just build great products. And so when we speak of investment, we speak of hiring talented software engineers, talented underwriters, talented machine learning folks, talented AI researchers that are just make our products better. And over time, it pays for itself. You know, you raised your guidance, but even before that, your stock had more than doubled this year. On a two-year basis, though, Max, you're still down. So I'm wondering if you look at the next leg for a firm, the next big ambition, the way to drive growth moving forward, what is, what is next? Is it going global? Is it cutting a big deal? How do people think about the story moving forward? Yeah, 
yes, uh, it is the, the short answer. We, we we're already on the record that we have all the intention of going global. Uh, we spoke about United Kingdom as our likeliest next point of entry in the global market. Uh, we do think that there are plenty of retailers, both online and offline, that are still to benefit from honest financial products the way we build them. And so we are very active in the marketplace, and there are ample opportunities these days to uh, help retailers move inventory, especially as we head into the holidays, but there's a lot of interest in our products among merchants. And then just if you look at the sheer size of the market and our place in it, you know, as you know, lucky as we've been with this incredible growth, we are less than 3% yeah. last I looked yeah. of e-commerce. So there's just so much to go and less than a you know, flicker of scale yeah. in overall commerce. So we have a lot to go.